spoiler alert, if you have not watched the Big Brother finale, stop now because we don't want to give anything away. I am here with the hostess, with the mostest, Julie Chen. We're chatting about children, we're chatting about life, but most importantly, we're talking about my favorite show, and I'm out of breath because I just ran over here. Were you surprised by the ending? Yes and no. I mean, I, I always say that jurors vote emotionally, and Paul made a lot of people angry. He humiliated a lot of people. Um, and it's not easy to get over hurt feelings, so, you know, when you're in like this group mentality, everyone's like, and then he did this to you and you get worked up. So um, I wasn't, I wasn't. I thought, put it this way, I thought it's going to be one of two things. Paul by a landslide, if everyone could put their emotions, you know, aside, or um, or Josh by a vote or two, and but it was a nail biter. A nail biter came right down to the end. Who did you respond best to? Because when I saw that nail biter, I felt emotionally connected to Josh. He evolved, and I appreciated that. I felt for both of them. I mean, the pure emotion from Josh, like you're happy for him, but at the same time, I felt like saying to Paul, "You were robbed. You were. You played a masterful game. Um, what could he have done differently?" I feel as if in his final plea tonight when we gave each of them a minute and a half to talk i think if he showed a little less cockiness and a little bit like be more apologetic and say look this is not me but i made it so far last year i came here to win i love you guys i apologize could i have done things a little bit better before you guys went off to jury maybe i'm human i think if um he owned up to not being so masterful and so perfect maybe people would have been like, no, oh, you got a point. It's interesting because he spent so long convincing them how intelligent he was that he almost convinced himself. And the king has no clothes in a sense that he got right to the end. And, and like you said, rather than own it, he just, you know, didn't, he wasn't genuine. And I think people respond to being genuine, being honest, being candid, and he lacked that. Do you agree? I do agree with that. I also feel when Josh was stating his case and so um, raw with emotion, the faces that Paul was making, like, I felt like I don't think that went over too well. It was a little bit, again, like this chip on his shoulder. You know, instead of just being a little bit more respectful to, you know, Josh's case, whether you agree with it or not, he should have just had, like, stone face. I liked that Josh. Cody eyes. He should have just been like Cody and been like, Super stoic. That works for Cody. I mean, America's favorite player, which is a great segue. You've seen a lot of showmances on here. If you compare Big Brother to The Bachelor, we crush the baby game, the marriage game. Julie Chen is a matchmaker. In fact, I'd like to make a message out to all the single men and women in the United States. If you're thinking of applying for a dating show, you go on Big Brother. It's That's where love is made. We say expect the unexpected. I mean, you come in thinking you want to play Big Brother. No, you're really coming in for a mate. It, it, it can't compare to like this, you know, paradise, you're all like getting roses and drinks and you're in a swimming pool. You are stuck in a house with someone probably more than anyone else you, you have in your life. You are chained at the hip. And what a way to get to know someone. It's kind of like in, if you're in a new relationship, that first weekend away, you kind of really get to, this is not just a weekend away. This is like potentially three months. So you see the good, the bad, the ugly, and most importantly, this experience bonds you like no other. I know this airplane, planes. but planes, you know, what are you gonna do? We're in Southern California, when you're Burbank airport. Um, what I've seen happen is people who don't like each other one season, they come out of the house and they become best friends because this experience bonds you. And then so imagine if you already like the person and you experience Big Brother with them. And that happened last year. There was a couple. They didn't dislike each other, but um, Nicole and uh, Victor. Victor. Nicole and Victor are now together. I just found out Nicole and Victor are now an item, and I asked them. Scandalous. Scandalous. They said it was premiere night tonight that um, they started this romance and I was looking over in the audience and he put his hand on her You're knee, very, very affectionate. Are we gonna see a child conceived in the Big Brother house <laughs> named Julie? Are they gonna name a baby after you, uh, a f male or female? 
I hope one day I'm not going to quit this show this until until this happens. Yeah, it, could it might be. be this summer. Like <laughs> like couple. six months from now, seven months from now, we might be like uh, breaking news. We're here and we have a baby. Who? Which of the three couples? I would guess. Uh, is, if you're, we got to emphasize this. Julie Chen is about to tell us which couple is going to have a baby and name it Julie. Um, let me think about this. I'm going to go with. Jess and Cody. Oh, fair, and, fair guess. And not so much because Cody um, is a fan of the game or me, but I think Jessica is because she, she's been watching the show since she was eight years old. Cody, I think, um, I don't know. I feel like Cody has a level of, of disdain for all of us, except yeah. the fact that we introduced him to Jessica. So don't forget he, that. He owes us. He owes Julie, not me. He owes us. He owes all of us. Did you not pick Mark and Elena or Raven and Matt just because you were visualizing that and then you're like, no, I'm not going to. That is terrible. Okay. No, we'll I didn't. Cut that. We'll cut yeah, that. we'll cut that. Yeah. No, I did not uh, pick the other two because I'm not so sure that it's serious between and, you know, I'm not even sure Elena's going to go on a date with Mark We're outside gonna of the house. We're going to because I'm going right. to grill them. And I'm curious. And I feel like Matt and Raven, it was like, um, how do I put this? Uh, I feel like they liked each other just for the sake of being, in, for having a fun summer. And neither one, I, I don't think either one is hoping it leads to something. I'm going to grill them on that, and it is summer camp, so we'll find out. My last question, and you've been so gracious with your time, who is your favorite winner from Big Brother 2? <laughs> By the way, I often get asked, out of all the seasons, like, who's the best, who's the most memorable, and your name always comes up. I mean... In a good way? or in like a, in No, a, oh, in a okay. great way, because if you think about it, it was a new set of rules because we changed it from season one where the public used to vote, and you told everyone with a smile that they shouldn't trust you. You didn't lie to them. Not at all. But you charmed them. Thank you, Julie Chen. And you didn't really, no one that season really knew this, is my this game. here. If you'd like to contact <laughs> me for personal appearances, just call Julie Chen. And you were always funny in Diary Room. Thank you so much. Yes. Always a pleasure. I wish I didn't see you just once a year, but if that's all I get, that's all I get. The hostess with, with the most is Julie Chan. Bye. Oh, Celebrity Big Brother. Oh, yes. Yeah, Who's your favorite? favorite? Give me one person that you're going to tell live right now. They get a full, they can walk in, no psych, no background check, no uh, blood tests. Scaramucci. Just, oh, bring him Scaramucci. in. Scar Scaramucci. He's, he's following me on Twitter, so you heard that. Okay. Scaramucci. He's fo why do you think he's following me? It's not because I'm a political you know, pundit. <laughs> I like him and Justin Bieber. I feel like he's doing research. Yes, Bieber would be great. I don't think we'll get him. Lindsay Lohan? Oh, please. Please, I hope, I hope, we'll I hope. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. Julie Chan, there she is. She said she liked.